What's going on? So today I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own character in Blender and rigging it with bendy bones. So you can see we have this animation that I made. Very basic, very simple. And essentially, if you see my previous video, I utilize regular bones. However, this time, look at this. If I undo, we're using bendy bones. So ideally, this is ideal if you were to make certain poses for characters. But if you wanted to make something like a Billy basic little uh, dance animation, even like worms or something, character-wise, you can definitely do this. Also, if you're making structures, architecture, things of that nature, this is ways to make curves and stuff like that. But as you can see, you can go crazy with this. So without further ado, let's hop into Blender and let me show you how I made this. So here I am in Blender. I'm using version 3.2.0. And I have my screencast key, so anything I click or type will be on the bottom right corner. And I'm currently using just a laptop with no external mouse, so I'm doing a lot of more, I'd say, clicking stuff manually versus trying to use like the uh, scrolly wheel and things of that nature. But it should be fairly simple, so let's go ahead and click on the cube, press the letter X, and delete right here. And then I can do Shift A, add an armature zoom in let me go press number one again make sure we got the same view and then tap into edit mode press e to extrude it then press z1 and then we can go up again let me zoom out a little bit then press e again z1 and now we got three bones right here so now i could click on this middle bone i could just press s and just scale it up like this and then let's go down to this man right here with the little running symbol click on viewport display change this to b bone and there we go so now what i'm gonna do first is let's let's name these things so click on the bone i install this like uh just say mid for now middle this can just be like the top and this can just be the bottom okay so now if you want to scale this we can do uh control option s or control alt s and that basically scales it like this. And then same thing up here, Control Option S or Control Alt S. And you can do the same like that, or you could just target the middle one and scale it up too. But I mean, this is pretty much the same thing. And then what I wanna do is make sure I click on this middle one right here. Let's go over to this Bendy Bones tab with the little bone icon. Click on the segments and I'll just type like 30 for now. And that should be good enough for what I'm making. But obviously if you need more, then essentially the more segments you have, the more it bends. And 30 right now should be fairly simple for most characters, but ideally you can change that up. And then you wanna click onto this top guy right here. Press Option P or Alt P and click Clear Parents. And now if you were to do it again, you'll notice that you can't do any of these options. So only Clear Parent it works fine here. And if I click on this guy right here and I move it around, you can see like it's working. But then if I go up here, it's not. So what we need to do first is click on to the uh, menu option here, go to pose mode, highlight the top one, and then shift click the middle one. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to do control shift C, and then this is basically going to pop this window up or constraints. And there's one right here called stretch two. So I'm gonna click on stretch two, and now you can see the color change. So now, you can see it's moving just like this press escape moving this only thing right now is just want to make sure when i rotate the top one it it rotates connected so let's go ahead and click back on this middle one right here we're on this bone icon change this one to absolutes and let's choose let's do a uh, bottom for this one and then second option absolutes and let's do top so now let's try this out, there we go, yo. Okay, so now we're good, we dancing right here. And moving around G to move it like this. And there we go, okay, so now let's go back to object mode. Then let me show you how to make an arm and then we'll make a little character. So let's go ahead and shift A. Let's go to mesh, go to UV spear. And then we'll do shift Z to go to wireframe. And then tab edit mode, highlight this first half. And since we're in Shift Z wireframe, we can see through everything. Press number one back to get to the front view. G, Z going up. And I think I'll probably make it like this, this height. And I'll press A and G, Z it up all the way so it fits like right here. 
scale I mean we could scale this on the X like this or you could just scale it I mean it depends on how you want it to look and then you can scale on the Y too like that again this is something you can work on in terms of customization afterwards but for simplicity's sake now if we do shift Z well I tab I tab back to object mode first and then shift Z and you notice it looks a little too blocky so we'll shade smooth here and then one thing is if we click back on the armature right I'll do shift Z again you can see you notice we can't see it like bro where's it at where's it at right so we could change this right here so let me go to this man little um running man click on in front and then we do shift Z again so now we don't have to worry about that now we can see it perfectly just like this when we go back to object mode and now what I want to do is first off click on the little arm and let me just name this so you can see arm right here shifts click into the armature the bone and then we can do command P or control P and go automatic weights and now first off let me t uh, press N and go to item I want to make sure that our scale is good okay perfect so now if I were to go to uh, click on the bone and we go to pose mode now ideally this should move it right so now you can see there's already an issue right there right and our arm is like going crazy it's like why is it not bending and this is a really simple fix go back to object mode click onto our arm tab into edit and then do control R or command R click here and since I'm not using a mouse I can't do the scroll option so I can just press escape then go down to this little option here and then change this to 30. So note that if you were to click and hit enter before you change this, then it's gonna, basically it's not going to show up again. You have to reset everything. So now this is what we got for. So let me show you this guys. So this is a big problem you're probably gonna run into is we just updated with the loop cuts, right? So now essentially it's supposed to bend, right? But watch this, we click on the bone, go to pose mode, we move it, what is going on? what is going on so for some reason blender this current version it doesn't realize that it's updated so it's essentially using the previous uh mesh design so we got to do again so i'll show you click on the arm then shift click on the bone control p or command p automatic weights and then we click back on the bone go to pose mode check this out Ooh, look at this let's go and then rolling check it out boom bam and then boom, bam, and then boom, bam, look at that. All right, so now with this knowledge, let's select my guy here. All right, so now we're currently in pose mode, but we need to go to object mode. Then I can select my my mesh and my bone. I can do GX over here like this. And we can do Shift D, GX over here. Let's do like... We just keep it in like two squares. I'll just like this one GX like right there. Actually, we could probably do one and a half or not even one and a half, just literally a half. So it's like these, it's like eh, about right here. And it's not too important right now because um, we can always fix this. But what I'm gonna do is Shift A, Mesh, UV Spear, GZ, move this guy right about, probably right here. And I'm just gonna make this bigger by pressing S and scaling it up. G Z down a little bit there till pretty much like the legs are basically in there. We can scale up a little bit more. Again, this is all preferences just for example sake. But um, now I got a little square, no not square, circle, dude. And then we can check these and then hold Shift Shift D G Z. And the origin is currently at the bottom. So now if I were to rotate this Y, it just goes perfectly. So I could say ninety. Just type ninety. And it's just like this. And if I were to shift D again, G, Y, across. Let me see, hold on. G, X, my bad. You'll notice that it's not, it's the origin's wrong. So instead of, let me just command Z this. So four, just command Z to make sure you only have one, two, and then three armatures. Select this one again. So this guy right here, shift D. So now we have essentially another one, but press escape then rotate Y and do minus 180. So now you can see it's fully, the rotation is good now. So now we can do GX like this and place this uh, wherever you please. And then that's what we got so far. And now what we can do, we can actually probably move these arms a little bit more. So let me do GX like 
probably like right here. Shift click these GX like right here. And then we can make our man dance. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, since this essentially is bendy bones, it's probably not ideal to make full on animations, at least with this design. The previous video on my channel, if you wanna check that out, I'll put it on my description or you just simply check my previous video. It's better for rigging like certain types of movements and animations much easier. But for the sake of it, let's just, let me just show you guys. So let's go like right here and let me zoom out a little bit. And right now we can shift select all of our bones and then go to pose mode. And now if I were to press, uh, make sure you have all them selected, I on the key, uh, pad, we'll do ro rotation, ro uh, location, rotation, scale. I can move to like the 10. Then I can go like G up like this. Then I can go like G down like this. I can probably rotate like that. Rotate like this. Press A. So when you do it in pose mode, it selects all the bones. Press I. Set the keyframe. So now, look at that. And then what I could do is click on this guy, shift D and just drag this one over. So now we got this like, <laughs> got this like little dance move. So now if we go to 30, I can move it down like this, then move it like this, and then click here, rotate it probably inward maybe. Rotate it inward. Select all of them by pressing A, press I, rotation of scale. So now it goes from like here and then I'm probably gonna shift uh, D this key frame right here. So now it's basically like this. And then ideally, if we were to change this end to like 41, it should play like a continuous, but it looks like right here, it stops. Okay, I see. Okay, so what I need to do is, let's do 51. And then let's do probably shift D this one over here. Let me see. All right, now that one's, so it goes up. Let me check. So it goes up, back, up, back, up, and then back. Let me see, hold on. So it looks like it's running. Oh, it's already going up, okay. So this one should actually be, delete this one. I should probably go like that. Yeah, so I'll do this 31 now instead. And let me see how that looks. One, two, three. And so it's, it's a little bit, little laggy. So right now, technically I could delete and go up, back, up, back. So yeah, I should technically stop it on 31. That should fix this issue. So let me just delete this one and then delete this one. So this should run the full um, cycle right here. Yeah, okay, see? So now my man's dancing like this. Now it's not perfect, obviously, but uh, definitely you guys can make something out of this. But for now, let's go here. And let me do shift back left air like this. Go to object. Click on my spear. And let's go to, let's see. Go to the uh, world little icon. Click on new. And this is basically where you change the color. So I click on this final one, render. Let's do, what should I do? Red man, pink man, blue man. Let's do blue man. So let's go like blue here. And then let's just basically copy this material to everything. Just like this. And the thing is, once we get rid of the bones and the like final, then you won't be able to see this. But we can do shift A, mesh, plane, scale. Let me go like this. Scale like, like this. Let's make it even larger. G, Z down, probably. Actually, I'll keep it like this, and then we'll move our guy physically up, G, Z up like this. And then click on our plane tab. Click on this uh, middle um, edge select. Shift click these two. Then technically I should have clicked all three. Then extrude by pressing E and Z. Just go up as high as you'd like. And then we can press Z with the camera. Shift, little uptick, left uptick next to the one. And now we can get our man's probably like right here maybe. And I'm doing shift W to move it around. 
So I probably go like this. And then let's go back to object mode, make sure we're good. So now we got dancing like this. Okay. So now, see, it looks a little weird because we have the keyframes. So let me see how it looks like without the keyframes. Yeah, there we go. I actually want to hide this a little more. Okay. See, so now it looks a little more natural, but it's not perfect. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we can go here to lighting GZ up here. Let's make it like, I don't know, 3000 maybe. GX over GZ. Let's do. Uh, let's see. Let's go from the top view. This will be GY. Okay, like right here. And then I could probably change this to um, area. Right. Or uh, press R. Change the angle. Like maybe like this. GZ. Press zero to see the view. Let's try five thousand. And then what I want to do is let me do Shift A again. Let's add another light. Let's do, do point G Z up like this. Let's put like a thousand. And I want to make this a different color. Let's do probably like a hard blue. And a little bit GX over here. G Z. And let's see if I change this background to black maybe. Ooh, okay, okay, a little more spacey looking. So now, if I were to go to my armatures now, let me go, slip, shift select them all. I wanna go to the in front tab, so I just probably have to individually select them. But I'm gonna just get rid of this in front option so I can actually see what we created. Little Pac-Man looking dude right here. So now I probably can zoom in a little bit more, you know, get a little close up like this there we go and hey there we go our man's dancing so technically this is the basic animation pose but ideally any pose or character design you can think of that utilizes like these squiggly like um bendy arms this is how you do it and this is a super simple way definitely let me know alternatives in the comments below subscribe to your new channel and i'll see you in the next video peace out